Okay guys, so hi. This is more of an update and a little bit more info on the Ulanzi VL49 light that I reviewed some time back and an update on how it's going. So it was way back on the 1st of December 2020 that I first reviewed the Ulanzi VL49 RGB light. That's this little fella here and I'll stick that review up there here for you to have a click and have a look at. At that time I reviewed the VL49 against the Loom Cube and a ring light. The ring light I bought from Home Bargains. That's the ring light that's up there that's lighting me now. And that ring light's still doing a very good job. It has broken a little bit of the tripod mount, the screw mount where it fits. Because it's plastic, it's snapped. But a little bit of super glue's put that back together. Hasn't affected it, it still works and it still does a brilliant job for what I want it to do. The Ulanzi VL49, however, doesn't. This I gave it a good review at the time because it's a nice little light and it's cheap. However, it hasn't performed as well as I wanted it to and hasn't lasted anywhere near as well as I thought it would do. This probably has only been used. I did say in that video I was going to use it as background lighting, as you can see over there, but I've got it in my hand and that I might use it for other things for photography. Now, it wasn't overly bright for photography, so you couldn't always get the kind of shot you wanted to. So I probably only used it since 2020, or this, the end of 2020. I probably haven't used it more than about 30 times at the most, maybe. 30 times maximum. So it hasn't been charged a lot, and it hasn't been used a lot. When I do use it, I only use it for sort of five minutes at a time, if that. It's developed a fault. It's very hard to see here, but it flickers and it flickers a lot which is a real pain in the backside because when you want to use it you're trying to film nice and calm lighting or whatever behind you and then when it starts flickering it's a real pain in the backside um, and it starts flickering all over the place and that just ruins the way it works and any sort of use you want for it it's losing its I don't know if it's the panel that's gone or but it's yeah it's it flickers on and off and then it and it just does, does this of its own accord. So unfortunately, although I recommended it then, to be perfectly honest with you, don't buy one. I think they're rubbish now. Having had it for that amount of time and only used it for 30 times, the fact that it didn't last, I mean, yes, it was cheap, but even when it's cheap, you expect something to last and not to be a pile of crap that you're gonna have to throw away after hardly using it. So I am very disappointed in this light and I'm quite saddened that it is actually as bad as it is. Considering, I mean, the loom cubes are dear. The loom cubes are about 70 or 80 quid, as opposed to 20 quid, say, for that. But this thing's years old. It's shockproof, it's dustproof, it's waterproof, it works with Bluetooth off your phone, so it's remote control. It's incredibly bright. It is in colour, but this thing will last forever and ever and ever. Incredibly well built, solid metal light. It's going to last for a very long time, unlike this piece of, I must say now, junk, because it doesn't work that's going to be scrapped because it doesn't work. This will probably have to end up in my to be shot list. There's a few things in that list as well, like my old dash cam and an old iPod, but I'll get to that in a different video at some point one day. So what's the alternative? Well, luckily, I mean, that broke quite a while ago. I just haven't got around to doing a video about it because it annoyed me so much. But LoomCube themselves have just released a new panel light go in RGB. Um, it's going to be about $100 which is a lot more than that, but again, it'll be dependable, it will last, you expect it to be much brighter, and you probably won't be throwing anything away after a few uses. So I'll stick a link to that down below with the other links and see what that's like. I have, as you can see, got another light in the background, and that's another Home Bargains light. Again, a cheap Home Bargains light. So as I said, it's a, another Home Bargains light, which means it's a ring light, a selfie light, this, again, wasn't expensive. I think it was about probably £12, I think, at the most. Another RGB light. It's not as bright as the one I'm filming myself with, so it's nowhere near as bright, actually. It's quite a bit of difference in the power compared to the other one. However, the other one's only white. This one is a white light with different temperatures, three temperatures as always, but it's also an RGB light. This one changes colour and you can have loads of different colours 
which is quite cool. You can still adjust the power. So you can bring it down quite low. But it does some nice effects. It's got a bigger remote control with all the uh, functions on it. It's USB powered as is the other one. This little fella is quite good for the background and it also has a few tricks up its sleeve. It does colour changing like you expect sort of most of these lights. It does a smooth sort of transition colour changing light. You can't really see it there but then it's going through the rainbow colours. It's then got different version of that. So a different version of rainbow colours. And then it does two, and now it's doing two colours at once. So I've got red and green going around. Dark blue, light blue, single colours. It even has a flashing motion. It's actually quite a nice light. For the price, it's inexpensive, as I said, and it's a nice, easy light to use for your backgrounds or to, to use if you are using it, obviously, as a selfie light. So obviously I could use it as a side light to add selfie light to me. Because we say without it, I'm quite dark one side. With that, I could light myself up a bit. Add a little bit of extra light. But I could also add that light with, if I wanted to, a bit of colour for some reason. No, I don't know if I would. Now the Ulanzi light had the advantage of being able to go outside. So I could go outside anywhere with it I wanted to because it was a rechargeable light as I can do with the Lume Cubes. The ring lights aren't rechargeable but they are USB. So it doesn't take much of a genius to work out that a power bank, something like this. So something like this, a power bank. Take a power bank with you. The lights on a USB connection. So you've got your power bank with your light and then totally portable wherever you want to go you've got your light so i could literally either of the ring lights with power banks power banks are stupidly cheap nowadays so anywhere you want to go with your power bank and your light you can go these aren't restricted to staying at home and plugging into your computer or other usb devices so at some point i may end up with one of the loom cube rgb lights i've been looking at the loom panel go the white one as another background light to so sort of have to light up this side to say where it's dark i may have one of those at some point i shall see how it goes i am a person for having lots of lights around if you know from my other videos or anybody that knows me i've got lights everywhere i love lights colored lights all sorts of lights so i'm a massive fan of them lots of lights around which i use for filming bright lights little lights panel lights flat lights all sorts that also includes bags full of brackets tripods and mounts which are mainly for lights rather than they are for the camera so i've got mounts of all sorts so that i can actually get the lights in the right positions at the right places little tripods mounts all sorts of things now these two bits actually came with the ring light so the ring light actually comes with a mini loop tripod and a mount so again you can place it somewhere you can angle it it's quite useful to put on other tripods hang it up from the wall whatever so it's actually very very useful to place it and it's quite good for using for the photography for the watches and as i said for these videos so very very useful light definitely recommend that over the ulanzi doesn't work piece of crap so guys thanks for watching hope you liked the review if you do please hit the like button down below please think about subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified when i upload the next load of videos thanks again bye bye